if that was flat or on key in the comment section down below. What's up? Welcome to Audio Tree Live. It is February 27th, 2024, and I'm your host, Fingy. Before we get into today's session, if you could be super sweet and super cute and just hit a quick little subscribe on our channel, we'd really appreciate that. With that being said, whatever goes down here, whether it's today, whether it's yesterday, whether it's tomorrow, it's gonna go up on all streaming services. Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, Deezer, you name it, we're there to app it on the go. But without further ado, I am quite stoked to introduce, all the way from Minneapolis, we have an alternative rock band, Prized Horse. Let's kick it off, y'all.
kick it off. Okay. We just had an album drop, yeah? Under sound. Yeah, Congratulations. Yeah. When we uh, were FaceTiming for a little pre pro call, it was like right before the release show. How did that go? Mm -hmm. Was it fun? It was, it was awesome. Yeah, yeah. Everything expected and more? Yeah, it was, it was more. really good. Yeah, yeah more. it was great. <laughs> more, okay, hell yeah, hell yeah, I love that. And I'm, I'm loving the, the album cover itself. Olivia, I'm under the impression this is your work. It is. Beautiful, yes. beautiful. Thank you. Are we working with like a charcoal oil pastel situation or yeah. what's going on? It's a charcoal with some, a little bit of gouache painting. Gouache. Yeah. Very nice, mm -hmm. very nice. Um, is there any level of synesthetic connection that this has to do with the music itself or was this kind of your own little brain baby? What's the deal? I mean, it definitely felt like my little brainchild, but it felt, it feels like the record too. I, I don't know, like... Post-rationalization yeah, process? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we were, when we were recording the record, I, <laughs> this sounds so stupid. I was like laying and going to sleep one night and I like saw it, which is so stupid. But, okay. But it, it felt like uh, a direct equivalent yeah, yeah respectfully i'm gonna have to disagree i don't think that's stupid okay. i think uh that's actually really intuitive and awesome that's cool um okay. and i'm so glad because i mean i don't know maybe maybe it is placebo but i listen to the record i see this and it kind of feels like it, it melts together i yeah. also read that it was kind of something y'all were trying to figure out a photo shoot trying to figure out album work and then you're like you know what let me just try something and then that happened and this felt right yeah, Liv and I, I mean, like, Liv and I had kind of been scheming, like, sending each other photos and stuff that we liked, but then Liv was like, let me give this a go, and just sent it, and we was like, hell yeah, that's it, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I liked how it, like, wasn't necessarily anticipated to be part of the process, but then change happened, yeah, and yeah. then yeah. you accept it. And this last track that y'all just played off of the record, uh, Your Time, yeah? Mm -hmm. That song, if I'm under the correct impression, is kind of about change itself and the feelings associated with it. And I was wondering, person to person, how y'all feel about change, if that's something that you find comfort in, or if that's something that freaks you out. Yeah, I mean, it's scary, but uh, you just got to write a song about it and get over it, you know? Mm. <laughs> Amen. How are you feeling back there? How do you feel about change, John? Yeah, it is scary, but I think we all do a pretty good job of embracing it, at least try to as a group. We've been through a lot together over the years, so. Yeah, yeah. How about you, Olivia? I mean, it doesn't bug me. I, maybe, I don't know. I think it's probably a little more exciting than scary for me. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I don't I fuck with change. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Is there a way, as you go through so much change, being that, you know, we're young adults or not, but also, you know, young travelers on the road, we're doing a little cross-country situation, that, which we can talk about a little more later, is there any practices or uh, are there any practices or are there any affirmations or any certain level of anchors that you keep close when going through like a major season of change? Really just these guys and making music with them, you know, it's like mm. no matter what's going on, I always got Liv and John by my side making some music with me. Yeah, we love each other. Yeah, ditto. Cute. Okay, damn. Maybe I got to join a band or something because I've been, like, uprooted and freaking out. But I guess I just got to, like, learn an instrument and, like, be good at it and make some friends. Hell yeah. Should. Okay. Yeah, I should. Okay. Noted. Noted. And with that, let's keep it moving. Hell yeah.
if the cameras have been catching this, but your freaking toe action on those pedals, my guy. I don't know, if, if the music thing isn't working out, do a little Irish dance <laughs> endeavor, I'm not gonna lie. It might, you might have another calling. Yo, I'm also not gonna lie, I was thinking about that joke for like the, the whole last time. I was like, ooh, I hope this lands or it's gonna be weird. But I got some giggles, I like that. Okay, hell yeah. Um, so, uh, I believe Corey Kaufman, yes? Is that how you pronounce the name? Mm -hmm. He yes. produced this record, lovely. And Jake, I was reading that uh, he was really helpful in trying to get you in the right headspace when recording vocals. And I feel that it, yeah. it's terrifying to track, especially when it's not in your comfort zone. Definitely. Were there any specific pointers he gave you that stuck with you? I don't know. I mean, really what I've taken away the most is just, that it, I mean, it works different for everybody else. But for me, I just like, I need to block out all distractions. Like, mm -hmm. I turn the lights all the way off. I can't see anything. I just had the headphones on and I just see the mic. Mm -hmm. I'm in the dark room and that's where it works best for me. But like, just kind of learning like what process makes you feel most comfortable because everybody like it's different for everybody but if you aren't comfortable while well, you're recording singing it's not going to sound right at all yeah and this is my first I, I didn't sing in a band ever before this so he really just helped me a lot like learn how to sing pretty much i mean yeah. like i i figured it out but he was a really good coach for that yeah and now nah, man you're killing it that sounds awesome thank you um and when it's in a live setting you know and you can't be in the stew, zero mm -hmm. lights, strictly vibes. How do you translate that? Um, I don't know, just kinda, it's not ideal, but uh, I just make it work. I mean, kinda, I, I, I like to look above people's heads, not look directly at them. Smart, smart. <laughs> you do you wear glasses or contacts at all? I wear glasses, but so when we play, I don't have glasses on, so everything's a little bit blurry, which is kinda helpful. <laughs> right, right. No, I have a couple of friends who use that method. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's genius. And with him, with working with such a talented producer, w did it take a minute to find your flow, especially given that you were kind of, uh, no, I wouldn't say hesitant, but you know, breaking through your comfort zone in order to record these vocals, or was it always kind of symbiotic? Well, this is actually our third time recording with him, so we kind of, okay. like, worked out our process pretty well, but, like, I don't know. I mean, we, we definitely spent a, a lot of time on this record just, like, doing, going so deep into everything, and, like, it was nice that we had a lot of time to record, and, like, that, I think, was the main difference in the process this time, was just... Mm -hmm. We gave ourselves a lot of time to just dig in and have some fun with it, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> totally, totally. And with the whole collaborative process, and as I was alluding to earlier, and please correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm under the impression we had a move happen. You moved out to Connecticut, yes? Mm -hmm. So then yeah. we're doing a little long distance yep. anchoring situation. Mm -hmm. uh, I was wondering if that almost limitation mm. has on the flip side, created more space for you to create in new ways? Does that limitation kind of spark newer inspiration or is it strictly tough? I mean, I think that we have been writing and playing together for so long that it isn't like the huge or a huge limitation. It definitely doesn't make things easier for sure. But yeah. I think we all just kind of like know how each other's brains work and so it, it's not like the end of the world it is not the best definitely but, makes right. us a lot more productive when we're all together in one room yeah. mm. can't take that time for granted you know what i mean right right you only have so much so you gotta yeah yeah it. totally and with like even like producing and tracking and whatnot is it like y'all only track when you're together or is there like stems being sent back and forth no, we just, I mean, like, I was kind of just, like, before we recorded, I was just kind of making some demos at home and, like, uh, would kind of send Liv some bass parts and we'd work on stuff together when she came back. Mm. Uh, but, yeah, we just recorded. We just went in three weeks in the studio, just the three of us. And nice. no, nobody had to leave or anything. It was nice. Nice. Yeah. Okay, cool. So it's like a, it's a forced lock-in, new mentality because yeah, yeah, yeah. there's only so much time. I like that. And during my uh, research and development process in this situation, I was looking at the grams. I'm a, I'm a Gen Zer, so that's where I start. And look, it seems like it seems like the move treated you well. Yeah, I'm just seeing you're collecting some furniture? Question mark. <laughs> What's the vibe? A little I mean, refurbished situation. Furniture is, as I'm learning, wildly expensive to mm -hmm. be into. Mm -hmm. um, but I am just obsessed with it. 
Right. I can't get enough of it. But Are you like a mid-century modern type yeah, person? Yeah, I love Danish furniture. That's oh. like right, right up my alley. Ugh, but I love that. Yeah, I like uh, I do a little bit of refinishing and less collecting. Okay, sweet. I love that. And how about y'all? Do you have any interests outside of music that tickles your pickle? Um, have, haven't been doing too much lately. Uh, I've 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 recently found that I really love cats, though. So do you have a cat, or are you just like my girlfriend? I'm spending time with my girlfriend's cats, and I've been allergic my whole life, and mm. but now I'm kind of just getting over it, you know. Powering nice. through. Nice. Okay. Kitty playtime. Love yeah, that. I never really thought I liked cats, so that's kind of, I'm considering that a hobby at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. And what about you, my friend? I'm pretty big into hockey. Big Minnesota Wild fan. I'm starting to learn to play a little bit as an adult. I wasn't into it as a kid, but kind of wanted to start learning. So that's what okay. I've been doing in my free time in the winter. Okay. And why why the late blooming? It just the inspiration hit when it did? Kind of, yeah. I was never really a sports guy, but then, like, I don't know. In Minnesota, it's just everywhere. So uh, it kind of just wears on you over time. And then you're like, all right, this is kind of cool. I see. I know I was asking for vocal tips earlier, but honestly, ice skating tips because when I ice skate I kind of do this like run and then like stop and then just like glide and it's it's not that elegant so See, I, I'm lucky I was of the era where rollerblading was huge when I was a kid mm. so me and my brothers did a ton of that so the first time I got on skates I was like oh this is same thing okay a little shift I like that rollerblading freaks me out I feel like when I fall I'm when I'm on asphalt I don't I don't continue to slide like you would on ice you just kind of eat it yeah it's a little worse but i mean it seems like you got both down and i got neither so i gotta join a band i gotta learn how to rollerblade i gotta learn how to refinish furniture <laughs> we got you and then you know we'll i don't be know fine. rollerblade you don't know how? okay you can stay on my side <laughs> all right let's run a couple more yeah
glorious head of hair. That was Thank beautiful. You. Thank you so much, Prize Thank Horse, you. for being here. Thank you so much to our crew getting this done as always and thank you all so much for watching by the time you are watching this it's already up on all streaming services spotify apple title you name it we're there tap in and please make sure you again subscribe to our channel that'd be super helpful and we'd really appreciate it uh yeah my name is fingy thank you so much for watching we'll catch you next time peace all right so you guys want to do it for real now